You gotta line up the things. Huh? You gotta line up the things. I know. Okay. The bitch is because the set piece isn't perfectly round because the way it connects, it takes a little enabling to get it in place. It's not perfectly round? No, because of the way the clips are. Oh, okay. There's there's fast. So you gotta kinda work it okay. in place a lot. When we do the final assembly, I want the four lines perfectly aligned oh, like this, and I want a gear point to match each one perfectly aligned. Okay? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Okay. For now, though, this, this know, is just a placement test. I don't know if the gear will line up right like that. It totally will. We designed the gear to do that so that the gear can easily become a clock. That's why the gear has 12 points. Oh, neat. Top it. Batman. Now, the other day we made a video yeah. and I told people, hey, here's the first look at the Jacob's letter. Uh -huh. But the clip I shot, I screwed up the timeline and it didn't end up in the video and I didn't notice it until it was too late. So, for everybody out there who's been wondering, this is the first look, the official first look at the new Jacob's letter. And Batman's been working on this diligently. This will be the actual Jacob's letter chamber and the electrodes will go up all the way. Like, it, it goes from the cool thing is you get to see this one from below. So you get to see it from down here, and then down here in the cage, this is all caged in here, and it's good safety cage, and the cage will extend over here down in this space under the stairs, because I got a thing for using every possible available bit of space, and staircases are a huge amount of space that's wasted. So in the other one we put the big folk called pendulum, and that's just version 1.0, so that's going to get a lot better. This is going to be the Jacob's Ladder, because I mean, look at all this space. We have this huge area. <laughs> Down here will be the big transformer. It'll sit back there. We're going to use a big pull-mount transformer and a power supply and all that jazz. And it's going to be on a button control. So like you'll be able to come in here and push the button and make the Jacob's Ladder work. And I, was saying, I was thinking it'd be cool if you, you replace, or right next to it, you put uh, an Allen Bradley switch. So you hit it, turns the lights off, kicks on the Jacob's Ladder. Oh, we can just let people turn the lights off. But I was going to put a button like on the rail, like a big, a big Allen Bradley right. button. And they hit the button, and you'll be able to see it come all the way up to here where it'll break, and the spark will break in this section, and then on top it'll just be a glass cover bolted down, all nice and safe and easy. Um, I like it about this height. I don't know. I think it could be taller. I wish I had more sections of this. I, it could be a foot taller, easy. All right. I, I think we're gonna roll with this though. For yeah, now. I was saying that's a lot to do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I think it's good. I think it's cool because you can walk all the way down and like and it's something that prompts people to go down and hey look there's a robotics lab down there that you didn't even notice was there. And yeah, it's good. Alright, do the MDF top. Okay. Um, I want flush to round and this will be dropped in an eighth. It'll drop down. Inside I want two inches and I need four evenly spaced holes. 
on the inside. I give it, you're doing it CNC, do eight holes inside and we'll get a nice pretty bolt ring. Um, I don't know if I want eight or twelve. How do you plan on bolting it? And Just do, do... I'm not understanding what you're, bolt, what you're bolting it. Uh, you'll, you'll see when I get there. I'm engineering, hang on. Give me 20 holes around the top. You've got the two inch thing. Okay, I want two inches from the outer, from the inner rim to the inner rim of the thing. I want two inches. And at an inch and a half, I want a quarter inch, quarter inch diameter holes. 20, 24 of them, a lot. Evenly spaced all the way around. Um, just quarter inch holes. And that'll do it. And then I'll make the top piece, which will probably be either metal or glass. I'm not sure. I gotta think about it. But it's gonna be pretty. And then we'll have a whole lot of shiny bolts. I, I like that aesthetic of the shiny bolts in a ring on things like big UHV bit, UHV fitting, stuff like that. So alright, so there it is. There's a look at the Jacob's ladder in progress. And it's pretty badass. A lot of work to do, but we're in progress. Yeah. I learned how to run a machine shop. Set up an enterprise level server. Program nine foot robots. Make lightning. Edit video. I'm building a radio station. Light bulb terrarium. A high performance electric car. I'm a CNC geek. Computer geek. Robot geek. Physics geek. AV geek. I'm a radio geek. Craft geek. Car buff. No matter what kind of geek you are, we've got a place for you here at the Geek Group. Come join us. We build awesome.